Hey there parents, I hope you all are having a great summer. It certainly seems like it's gone by really quickly. I know it has for me. It's hard to believe our students are gonna be back here in less than two weeks. We're so excited to see their beautiful faces. The first day on campus is the 18th of August. We can't wait to see them. We have some amazing teachers joining our team. We did lose some teachers that moved on to other positions, but I will tell you that we've brought some amazing people in to take their place. You're gonna be super impressed. Our teachers are ready to go. Many of them are in school today, getting their rooms shined up and ready for your students. The school buildings and grounds are getting a complete cleaning, maintenance, shining, painting. Our custodial staff has worked so hard to make our facilities great. We want them to shine just like your students shine, and they really are. Parents like you, I was certainly hoping the public health crisis surrounding COVID would be gone by now, but that's just not the case. As we learned last year, this is a, a dynamic, ever-changing situation. We're monitoring all relevant sources of information, checking all data, and working diligently to make sure our school is the safest and healthiest school in America. We're gonna use the same guidelines we used last year that kept our school so safe and served us so well. First, the health and safety of our students and staff is our very top priority, no matter what. We're gonna do whatever it takes to keep our school safe and healthy. Second is the continued academic growth of our students, both academic, social, and emotional. We did a great job with this last year. We were here every day serving students, making a positive difference, and our kids responded with unbelievable test scores. They really didn't miss a beat last year. And we're gonna do those first two things. We're gonna continue the health and safety of our students and the academic growth while making sure that we care for our staff and care for our teachers and make sure that they're ready every day to come to work. With those guidelines and looking at all appropriate laws and guide, guidance and recommendations from every varied source, here are our COVID protocols for this year. Many of them are the same things that we did last year that kept our school in such great shape. First, all students are gonna be on campus. That's a shift from last year. Um, but we know we can do it in a safe way. All students and adults will still be required to wash their hands before they enter the building. We're gonna still use routine disinfecting of hands throughout the school as we did last year. We're gonna to continue to operate portable air filtration systems in high traffic areas to make sure that the air is filtered more and more. In our elementary school, we have independent HVAC systems in every classroom. We're gonna change those air filters on a more regular basis with even better air filters that we've been told filter the air in a, in a much better way for these kinds of viruses. And we're going to use isostatic disinfecting machines when students are out of their classroom. So when students go to recess, we're gonna disinfect the class. When they go to related arts, we're gonna disinfect the class. We're gonna do everything we can as students move about our school to keep our school safe and healthy. We're gonna limit our visitors. And I know this is as hard on parents. We love having you here. We love you coming to lunch with your with your child or your children, but we're gonna ask you again this year to not do that quite so much. If you really need to visit the school, get with me and I'll talk to you about the specific situation, but we're gonna ask that we limit visitors. We're also gonna ask for your help in keeping your students home if they're not feeling well. You did a great job with that last year. Please don't send your child to school if they've got a fever, if they're coughing or if you're unsure whether or not they're healthy. That's for their own safety and the safety of their classmates. I know you'll help me with that. We're gonna maintain appropriate physical distance between our students. Now, I know this is a small nuance and you hear this word social distancing all the time. I really don't like that term. We wanna be socially connected with our kids. We wanna to get to know them. We are going to know what motivates them and help them be great students, but we're gonna do that in a physically distanced way. So throughout the school, our desks are gonna be separated. There are gonna be more room in the cafeteria, different protocols for recess and library and throughout the school to keep an appropriate physical distance. Based on all the data we received and all appropriate laws and regulations, um, we're gonna ask that you support us in sending your child to school with a mask on. Uh, we think that's really gonna be helpful to keep our school safe and healthy. We know that this is an individual decision that each family has to make, and we know that you're gonna make the very best decision to support your child in our school. This includes our elementary students that haven't had the opportunity to get a vaccine yet. We still think that the very best thing we can do is keep physical distance and wear a mask 
when appropriate. The final decision is yours though. Um, but again, we hope you'll support our school. Um, we can do this. We can make sure our students are here every day learning and growing just in a much safer way. We're also encouraging those students who are eligible to get vaccinated. We've had two vaccine clinics at our middle campus and I have our third on Meet the Teacher Night. So as you bring your middle schooler back to meet their teacher, I'd ask you to strongly consider that they receive a vaccine. Wearing a mask and getting a vaccine are the two best things we can do to keep our students safe and healthy. You know, I know that each of us is navigating this COVID-19 public health crisis uh, in the way that best serves our families. Together, I also know that we can do a great job supporting your families, your student, and having everyone have a great school year. I truly honor your individual decisions and know that each family will make the best decision for their specific circumstance. Please contact me if you have any questions about our protocol, you need information, you wanna look around the school to see what we're doing. We're totally transparent. We want you to be very comfortable that we're doing everything we can to keep your child, your children safe, happy, learning and growing. I really appreciate everything you've done for the school. Together, we can make this a super school year. Thanks in advance for what you're gonna do this year. And remember, Panda parents, be nice and work hard.